party is in Qatar. Asa, making a noise. With only just 40 days to the voting polls, 18 out of 45 candidates signed a pledge today for a free and fair election. In terms of our law, political parties must subscribe to a code of conduct which regulates their conduct, the conduct of their members, the conduct of their supporters, as well as their leaders. Some of those conduct uh, prohibits impersonation, prohibits violent conduct, and the creation of no-go areas. Today was just a symbolic uh, exercise by political parties to publicly say to the voters they subscribe to the code of conduct and they will run their elections campaign consistent with what the code says. Well, the important thing was for us as a government to say that we are working with the IEC and all other stakeholders to ensure free and fair elections, but also to urge all political parties to do the same. We condemn any form of violence, intimidation. There should be no go areas for any party to campaign. Uh, we want to make sure that indeed at the end of the day, on the 3rd of August, the, a the IEC should be able to announce uh, free and fair uh, results. You know, the 3rd of August, it's a very important day in the history of this country since 1994. And uh, for us, uh, seeing all the political parties committing and really pledging to ensure that we can have free and fair election is crucial. So let's really hope that all the parties that have signed this morning, that are really committed. It's not just really a question of putting pen to paper. It's about a deep commitment to the future of this country. I'm Pomashiho for Joburg Today.